Today's the day we're gonna finish up the machine. Let's uh, build the gas control system. Uh, we'll hook up the chiller and finish installing all the body panels. All right, let's go. I have to give a huge thank you to Skyfire for sending me their gas control system for the project. Let's uh, open this last box here and see what we have. Okay, one of our solenoid valves. And the other. I'm guessing this is the high pressure for the nitrogen and compressed air, and that's for oxygen. All right, that must be a check valve. And another check valve. And the electro pneumatic regulator for the oxygen pressure. Okay, a big bag full of fittings. It looks like most of their system hooks together with these quick connect fittings. So let's uh, figure out how we're gonna put all this together. I've been playing around with all the different fitting options with everything they sent. And I think I've landed on something like this. The hose that goes up to the laser head will connect right here. And off that T, we come over to the check valve for the oxygen, the regulator, the solenoid. Then I'll have a hose that goes up to this quick connect where I can hook up my gas. And for the nitrogen, uh, the check valve, solenoid, and then also I'll have another hose that runs up to this quick connector. I think something like that will be really compact and should work. So let me get all this hooked up. I've got everything hooked up. So now we just need to get this installed on the machine and then I can run all the hoses for everything. I come up with this clamp design to mount my quick connectors. Um, so let's get this 3D printed so we can test it out. These two pieces clip right around the hexagon. So no matter what way it's oriented, it'll still clamp in here like that. And that'll go on top. Then I'll have three M5 screws clamping it all down together. Let's go install it on the machine. I got the gas control system mounted down here. That seemed like the best spot as there's still gonna be a couple more hoses coming out for the to cool the laser source. I already got the hose attached and it runs up through the cable raceway. Um, so I need to route that around to the laser head. I think I wanna to try to mount the plugs right here on this back side. So let's see if this mount works. Okay, that feels pretty secure. You can see I've attached the hoses up there and routed them around, back around to the solenoids. So now we just need to hook it up to the laser head. Got my solenoids wired up and the electro pneumatic regulator. So let's test it out. I've got my compressed air line plugged in for right now for testing. And when we test the nitrogen, you can hear it blowing. I've switched my air hose over to the oxygen side. So let's test it. It looks like the oxygen regulator is working. If I go here to global, I'll turn the pressure to like say 20 PSI. You can hear that. Now I'll change it to 120. All right, cool. It looks like the gas system's gonna work. All right, the rest of my 14 gauge steel sheets came in, so let's cut out the rest of the panels for the machine.
All right, we just finished cutting out all the panels we need to finish up the machine. Everything cut out great, except the occasional blemish where it cut over the aluminum rail, which always messes it up. Um, but there's one thing I wanted to show you. This one little part right here, the other three cut out perfectly. If you look at the back side, the label, <laughs> the laser can cut through 14 gauge, no problem, but you put a little sticker there and it messes up the cut. Uh, I just thought that was really interesting. Um, so I guess in the future, I know I need to remove all the stickers. Uh, I'll be able to pop that out of there anyways. But uh, anyways, these four parts are some L brackets I made for my material storage. So let me see if I can get these bent real quick. Right, nice. As you can see here, I've started buying some material for our test cuts. I get these brackets installed. I didn't even have a chance to install the fan, so I guess this panel was a waste. All of the panels are installed. I still need to install the fan there. I'm planning on painting all the panels black, but um, it's cold out now, so uh, we might have to wait on that until next spring. So let's get the chiller hooked up. This should be really easy. Everything's already all plumbed up here on the back. So basically, I just need to run my hoses up through the machine uh, to the laser source and up to the laser head. First, let's get these little short hoses attached on the laser head. I've got my hoses from the chiller running up through the back of the machine and coming out right here. So let's attach them to the laser head. All right, there we go. The chiller's all hooked up. I tried to make a little coil of my extra hoses. I'm not ultimately sure where I'm gonna put the chiller. It's gonna sit here for now. So I left some extra length. So let's uh, fire it up and check for leaks.
All right, everything looks to be dry. Since we got all the hoses run, I went ahead and cleaned up the cables, wires, and hoses up here and put a split loom on it to make it look a little cleaner. So that looks nice. All right, we have a fan. Feels like it has good airflow. So I think the machine's actually done. Uh, with the exception of painting the body panels, which um, I'll probably have to wait till spring to do that now that it's freezing out. Um, yeah, it's kind of really hard to show this all in a good shot because it's so long. But, um... But yeah, I'm excited to uh, start trying to do some test cuts. I can't believe it's actually done. Uh, give me a week or two, I gotta dig into the software and figure out how to set up the cut files and then I'll be back with some test cuts, which I'm super excited about. Uh, thank you to Skyfire for sponsoring the gas control system for the project. Um, you can check out their website at hilariousstore.com and don't forget you can use my discount for 5% off laser components. Um, also thank you to all my Patreon supporters for uh, supporting this project. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.